Hello and welcome. To install PyFluent and its necessary prerequisites, there are two ways. One is by using the ANSYS Python manager and the other one is the conventional Pythonic approach. In this lesson, which is the part one of the two part series, we will discuss how to use the ANSYS Python manager to install Python, create and manage virtual environments and install PyFluent packages along with the Python default packages. Without further delay, let's get started. Many users, especially those who are new to Python, may find the conventional installation process, which is more of a Pythonic way, quite overwhelming. But with ANSYS Python Manager, an open source graphical tool, the installation experience for Python, PyFluent packages and popular Python libraries is now seamless and hassle-free. It also facilitates the creation and management of Python virtual environments. It is important to note that the ANSYS Python Manager is available only for Windows at this point. However, the conventional installation process, which will be discussed in another video, is applicable for both Windows and Linux. Now, let's see the ANSYS Python Manager in action. First, to install it, open this link and download the latest version available. This will download a Windows executable file. Once downloaded, go ahead and install it. Now that you have installed the ANSYS Python Manager, let's explore the tool and its functionalities. After launching it, a graphic window will pop up on the screen with PyANSYS branding as the banner image. Below that, you will find three different sections. The first one is dedicated to Python installation, the second one for creating virtual environments and the last one for managing Python environments and installing Python and PyFluent packages. These sections have been thoughtfully arranged to follow the appropriate installation sequence. Let's start with the first section where we will install Python. Keep the installation type to the default selection of standard. We need to now select the version of Python to install. PyFluent supports Python 3.7 and later. However, as mentioned here, the best practice is to install the second newest Python version so as to ensure that it is fully compatible with the third-party libraries and applications. Let's select and install Python 3.10 version. This will first download it, followed by its installation. Next, in the second section, we have the option to create virtual environments before installing the APIs packages. A virtual environment is like a separate room for each project where you can install only the packages needed for that project without affecting other projects. From the table shown here, choose the version of Python to use for your virtual environment, then provide a name to it and click on create. This creates a virtual environment under the user directory. Now let's move to the next, which is the last section of the ANSYS Python manager from where we can manage Python environments. It is recommended to use virtual environments for package management and launching options. However, for simplicity, we will not be using any virtual environment in this course. So let's choose to use base Python version instead of virtual environments by clicking on this checkbox and selecting Python version that is available. The Python IDE we will be using in this course is Jupyter Notebook. To install and open a Jupyter Notebook, click on launch Jupyter Notebook under launching options. This opens a Jupyter Notebook in the default browser. Alternatively, you can also select Launch Console, Jupyter Lab, or Spider to install them. We can now install the Python default packages under General Packages Management and click List Install Packages to check out the list of all the Python packages installed. PyFluent packages with the desired version numbers can be chosen to install under PyAnsys Package Management. Let's select PyFluent. PyFluent Parametric and PyFluent Visualization one by one, then click Install. Kindly note that the version numbers of the installed packages may vary based on when you access this course, as newer versions might be released subsequently. Now that we have successfully installed PyFluent and other necessary prerequisites, we are all set to embark our journey of exploring the capabilities of PyFluent 
and take a deep dive into the functionalities of all the pipeline packages with the help of the interactive workshop examples in the upcoming lessons.